Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wabbit. Welcome back to another episode of my Legendary Weapon series here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. Today, what I have for you guys is a legendary rocket launcher known as the Nukem. Now, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different one. Like a lot of the legendaries in this series, until they come up with that patch, uh, it will the boss will not respawn that farms this. Unlike some of those other bosses, most of the other ones in some of the other videos I've been talking about, once that patch comes out, this guy will still not respawn. This is a storyline boss. If you remember Flame Knuckle, the first boss of the entire game, he's in the Helios space station when you first spawn into the game. Uh, he's like he's like level one or two or three or something like that uh, on normal mode. I don't remember what he's in uh, true Vault Hunter mode or anything like that. But this is where you get the nukem from. Now, most of you guys probably anyone who's played the game knows how to get there because it like takes like five minutes to get there from the start. So I'm not really going to show that because it actually leads you to like you have to go through here. Um, on your way out, you cannot, you can't go any other way, so you can't, you can't avoid him. Uh, it, it guides you here, and it's pretty easy. He has that mech suit, kind of like Zarbadon. Once you take out his mech suit, which is really weak, he has a shield, and then uh, just him. And he's he's pretty weak. I don't think I've ever actually died fighting him. I mean, like, because he is like the first boss, so I don't think he's supposed to be super tough. But uh, I, I don't, I mean, I don't honestly don't think I've ever died fighting him. The problem with this is once you kill him. Uh, you cannot get back to this area, this starting area. This is one of the areas you cannot get back to uh, once the once the, the you complete this part of the campaign. So you will have to quit without saving and go back through this again, like save right before you kill him, and quit without saving and go back through this. Uh, go back, run, and then there won't be. You shouldn't meet much resistance. All the doors will be open, so you can just run all the way through to here, kill him, and then uh, quit without saving. Either dashboard, all F4, or whatever it is on whatever platform you're playing on to. Uh, but without saving, and uh, and then kill him again, and keep doing this until he drops the nukem. Now the problem is, if you want like a level 50 version of this gun, uh, you have to would have had to have say there's the nukem drop. You would have had to have completed true vault hunter mode to do that, but you can't complete true vault hunter mode because then you won't be able to, to, to farm him. Uh, my recommendation is, if you really want like a level 50 version or something like that, it'll probably be like 53 or 54 if you wait till till Ultimate Vault Hunter mode comes out, and you can get like a level 53, 54 version most likely. If you want a level 50 version now, uh, like the one I'm using right here, what I recommend is using get, getting it from the grinder. And I have a, a tips and tricks video on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description on how to get legendaries from the grinder. It's one of the few ones I'd say, unless you're trying to get it from the source then you probably won't be able to get a level 50 version from the source. If you're just trying to collect all the legendary weapons from the sources like I am, then uh, go for it. But if you want a level 50 version, you're probably going to have to get it from the grinder. Or maybe if you're lucky, from a vending machine or a chest or something. or I don't know. Something like that. But you can, you can see here, when you fire the Nukem, it has a, it's a Torg launcher, so it's, it's explosive. It has a very steep arc, arcing projectile uh, that fires, and it creates a mushroom cloud when it explodes. It creates this giant mushroom cloud explosion. You can see right here, look how big the explosion is. You can see that, that just uh, downs me instantly. This is a level 50 version. I think this has, I think, around like 99,000, 100,000 damage to it. I think they all have around 100,000 damage at level 50, like 40 to 50, they have 100,000 damage. You can see there, it just like blows them to pieces, literally. It literally blows chunks everywhere. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool launch, it's a really good one. The downside to it is, uh, you have to be careful, you can down yourself really easily like that. It only has, it usually comes with a two round magazine and it consumes two ammo per shot, which is a problem because uh, the reload is also very, very long. It's one of, if not the longest uh, reload times for any weapon in the game. Uh, I think it's like, it's, like, it's like near a 10 second reload time in some cases. So even if you have characters with like reload bonuses like Wilhelm or Athena, and you have like a class mod that boosts that even more, you'll still uh, have trouble, like especially if you're down and you run out of ammo in the clip, you will not have time to reload this weapon and shoot it again. You, you, no matter what, like you're not going to have time to do it. It's, it's really it's not going to happen. What you want to do is you want to. Uh, a, a lot of the characters have different uh, things that increase magazine size. I know Claptrap does, uh, Athena does. You can see I'm using here, so I get, I get uh, three shots in the clip instead of one, which is really, which is actually really good. Uh, I think uh, Nisha has a thing where it adds three bullets, so you'd still get it up to five as well. So it would be. Uh, the same thing, so you get uh, three shots per clip per, per, for every re reload. Uh, what I would recommend uh, using this gun, I wouldn't recommend using it like this. It's just, just really fun if you want to just like blow some people to pieces if you're really angry or you're having a rough day or something like that. Just hop on Borderlands and just uh, pull up the nukem and do that like I was doing here. But um, what I would recommend using this gun for is mostly like 
using it as a reserve, like having it fully loaded and in your inventory in case you go down, so you can just pull it out and get yourself get a second wind real quick, especially like during a boss fight. You don't really have much time to do that. Just pull it out and just get yourself a second wind real quick. Uh, I think that's what I would recommend using it for. It's definitely, it's one of those. It's a good weapon for that. It's something good to have around. Um, and definitely got to be, be careful with it, like I said. So try to get some sort of. I think the most important thing is you really can't fix the reload time all that much. You just got to wait till you're not in combat to reload. And you have to. You got to. I think the highest re magazine size you can get is three. So that's two shots. Uh, you. So you have. You got to. I think all the characters. I think have some sort of magazine size bonus, which is which you definitely need when using this launcher. So yeah, this is definitely it's a very good launcher. It's returning from Borderlands 2. I remember using this launcher in Borderlands 2. I think it's definitely a very good gun. It may even be better in this game, actually. It's a, it may even have an increased blast radius. It also looks really cool when you shoot it and enemies ex explode into a bunch of tiny pieces. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did and you found this helpful, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And again, I'm sorry about the inconvenience of this boss. Uh, you won't, probably won't be able to get a level 50 version from him until, until Ultimate Vault Hunter mode is released. Till then, I recommend using the grinder, or maybe maybe if you're really lucky, you can get one from a vending machine or something, or a chest. Uh, I'm not really that lucky, so I don't really get usually get stuff like that, but you never know. If, if you have good luck like that, maybe try farming some vending machines or something, or some some uh, loot chests, or uh, or even, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend the grinder, honestly, to get, if you want a, a level 50 or a higher, like a high level version of the new game, I think that's probably your best bet. But anyway. I will leave a link to that grinder video down below. For those of you who don't know how to do it, you can get uh, guaranteed legendaries from the grinder machine in 40. I will show you guys how to do that in the video. It will be in the link down below. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more Borderlands content. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.